Welcome to Mark's Midnight Madness, a on-coring, a uh, on-coring version of Mark After Dark with a slight name change. I'm here with my best friend and colleague and work person and uh, supervisor, Jessica. Hello. <laughs> We're going to talk about why Donald Trump is ruining America and not making it really great again. He's just making it worse. I saw a video, I think it was yesterday, that um, these people at some rally, I think it was in Georgia or somewhere, were pushing this black woman out, you know, like putting their hands all over her and everything just to get her out of there. I don't know why, um, but it's just sad. He's rude to the blacks, he's rude to us gays, he's rude to basically anybody who's not white and such. And rich. And rich, basically. And man, and a man. And, basically, yeah. old, rich, white man. Yeah. He is the epitome of everything that <laughs> I dislike about that. I am afraid, I'm, I'm sad to say this, but I'd rather have Ted Cruz than him as the nominee. And Ted Cruz I can't stand as well. Yeah, anyone that, it's... Uh, I might actually want to have either Mark, Mark or Rubio. He seems like less of a threat than Trump. But the problem is, all these people are just so engulfed in Trump stuff. Like, I don't understand it. Like, why do you want him to be president? Is it just because he has money? Is it because, you know, he's good looking? <laughs> I, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm throwing that out there as a point of view for some people. I'm not actually saying he's good okay. looking because right. I'm not into older douchebags. Yeah. Um, especially older douchebag men. Um... I don't know. It, like, why would you want to vote for him? I mean, Ted Cruz seems very, like, conservative Christian asshole. Like, he even said that he wants, he believes God wants all the other candidates to drop out. Really? I think God wants you to go back to Canada and shut your whiny, ma whiny ass mouth shut. <laughs> Cocksucker! Anyone that, anyone that ever says they know what God wants, I always have to call bullshit on them. Yeah, when sure people, you do. Yeah, when people say, you know, God wants this, God wants that, and it's like, oh, you must be very Christian because you share the, you know, I love God page, or the do you believe in Jesus page you see on Facebook occasionally. Don't get me started because I have plenty of relatives oh, no, no, that no. constantly put on that shit. Well, there was a mem on that, or a mem that I found it was something like, oh, so you must really believe in Jesus, or you might, or, or something like, so you must really be a good person. It's like, bullshit. So you're trying to pat him on the head and be like, okay, yeah, I get it, you believe in something, but what are you doing? Yeah. Believing and, and actually doing are completely two different things. And most people that believe in something that where you should be a better person aren't actually better people, no. it seems. No. They like to complain about others and put yep. others down, and I think that's where I'm trying to tie this in with Trump. Mm -hmm. It's easier to hate someone than to try to like them or mm -hmm. at least try to get along with them and try to respect them. Mm -hmm. He's playing on the fear of people, fear, fear of, of others, of people that are different than you and saying, you know, you should dislike them. You should, they're stupid, they're whatever, because it's a lot easier to hate someone than trying to find a common ground with someone that you don't necessarily agree with. It is. It's easier to just, I don't like you. And if you say, well, why don't you like somebody? Well, because they're this. Well, but why, but how is that making you not respect somebody as a human being? Well, I feel like, I know the GOP is definitely like, oh God, we don't want Trump, and oh God, we don't like Cruz, so I wish they could just pick Mar Marco Rubio by default, but mm -hmm. they can't because of all this, these, like, Tuesday delegate things, you know, like, you have to have so many delegates and then you'll automatically be the nomination, unless there's, like a tie or, you know, a too close to call race. But sadly, you know, I think it's gonna be him and I just don't want him to be president. And I actually saw this from yesterday from Google that how to move to Canada, uh, that search is up uh, one thousand percent, which I don't blame him. You know, I don't wanna be in this country if he's president because he's just gonna make America not great but make I it mean, worse. Just the things that he was he was being quoted as saying is that he wants to get rid of the Department of Education. Yeah. He wants to get rid of the EPA mm -hmm. because you, the, all it boils down to is that he's a businessman. Yep. All he cares about is money. Yep. Doesn't care about 
you know, this. you drinking dirty water, you breathing dirty air, mm-hmm. you your children learning the proper things to make this country successful. Mm-hmm. No, he just wants money. Yeah. And as they say, the root of all evil is the love of money. Yeah. And that's very true, I believe. Very, very true. Now let's switch gears to the Democratic side. Uh-huh. I want Bernie Sanders. I think he's he's connected with a younger generation. Yeah. And he's con- uh, he's also with the middle age. However, when it comes to middle age to and over, that's where Hillary has her strong point. And some young people still like her. But I, when she first came out and said, okay, I'm going to run, I'm thinking, you know what, I think it would be a good idea. But then when Bernie came along and Bernie was doing all these good things, I'm thinking, you know what, he seems like a good guy and he connects with the younger generation. The older generation is used to Hillary. The younger generation did not grow up with Hillary because I'm talking about younger like my age, like yeah, twenty one. We yeah. didn't grow up with Hillary. Yeah, I grew up yeah. I grew up with Bush, which was hell. Um, and Obama Jam. But you know, it's just the other thing I hate is especially with this whole email scandal, where we're gonna hear and hear and hear until something happens. I think she should be inducted. That is my belief. You know, she did something I think she should be indicted. She should be held accountable for. Her. I don't think she should just get, you know, the pass go and collect two hundred dollars. That's you what know, most politicians think. get. I know. They're never indicted on anything they do. Some are, some aren't. Yeah. Like Anthony Weiner, who yeah. showed a picture of his Weiner, which is not all that big. Um, <laughs> and you know, some people like in the IRS and stuff like that, they are actually are indicted. But I feel like a politician like her should be indicted because it would give Bernie the automatic vote, and he would just be sailing through. I'm actually surprised he got Colorado, because they just announced he got Colorado, and of course he got his home state, Vermont, and I think he actually got Massachusetts, maybe not, can't remember, but, you know, Hillary was getting some of these states that, you know, I thought she would never get. I mean, she got Virginia, because I was thinking that, well, obviously she's next to D.C., so yeah. I knew that was coming. I just, like, I'm not, I don't want Hillary to win. Me I prefer Bernie Sanders, mm-hmm. just because he really does seem like he cares about the younger generation as in, you know, our student loan debt yeah. which is outrageous. It shouldn't be like that. Well, the, he show or he uh, put out, you know, what uh, he would do for the economy, mm-hmm. da, 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 and they actually showed on CNN, you know, if he would do this, this, and this, it basically boosts jobs. Yeah. Boost this, boost that, boost that. Because the amount of money that I pay on my student loan and everybody else that I know, mm-hmm. if that was not there, we could be buying new cars, buying houses, putting back into the economy, but we can't because of how much college, and college should not be as expensive as it is. No. There's no reason why I should be taking out thousands of dollars alone because I want to better myself. Mm-hmm. Why do you want to hurt our young people in wanting to better themselves mm-hmm. by caging them into debt, chaining them to debt so early? And my question is, I don't think schools need to be so expensive, like no. this in-state and out-state tuition. Because I'm thinking, well, if you get a scholarship for that school and you have to pay nothing, I feel like it should be for almost all the people. Because, you know, every college every year raises their tuition. Mm-hmm. Now, WVU... I think the in-state was... But the education doesn't get better. No, it doesn't. Because it's like when you're in high school. Like, you know, the history class I was in, the book wasn't new. I only went to, like, you know, mid-2000s or early-2000s. Yeah. But it never went beyond that. You know, many educational books do that. So you're learning about shit from a long time ago that is not really relevant these days. Well, history is always relevant because if you don't learn it, you're doing it. Some of it is, some of it isn't. I'm going to say that. Um, but when you are you have the same book, you know, the same lesson plan, the same, the same, that, it's like, why do you even have a teacher? I mean, if it's going to be the same thing throughout the year, you know, why do we even have a teacher? That's just my opinion. Well, teachers are supposed to teach. This one sucked. I mean, he was old, he ate his yogurt, he ate his yogurt, he ate his crackers, and he was always forgetful. So we would be, he'd be like, so we're going to move on to section four, and we'll be like, and of course we'll lie, and we'll be like, no, no, we're still in section two. He's like, really? You didn't do section two? And we're like, no, coach. And he's like, well, you better get on that. So we already did section two, and now we're doing section five already. It's just like, oh my god. It's, it's, it's a problem. 
There right. are so many problems and there are so many issues, but there are, are honest to God, ways we can fix these, but people don't want to do it because at the end of the day, most people do not want to help others. They're only out for themselves, mm -hmm. which is horrible and crazy coming from people that will claim that they're Christian. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to Now, that's a good thing. Our forefathers gave us freedom of thought. You know? We can think what we want to do. We don't have to, you know, no one has to tell us how to think. They gave us freedom of thought, which mm -hmm. I think is very important. This is very important. I don't know what else to talk about, because we're going on politics and Christian values, and I really want to stab myself. <laughs> um, let's talk about... Uh, hold on. <laughs> joking <laughs> um march did you see the weather forecast for next week yeah i saw that um, it, for it, us we're gonna be like in the 70s did you see, like, are, are you doing it from AccuWeather or the weather channel i'm doing it for my store map on the app store find it on the app store and possibly on the android if you can so what does that mean is it AccuWeather or <laughs> it's called the store map but it's through weather underground oh weather underground because that through I don't, I don't know who Weather Underground is for. I think they're their own person. I know they... they who do you think is more accurate? There we go. Well, we have AccuWeather, yeah. who is sometimes accurate. They predicted... Oh, no. They predicted two days ago we were supposed to get less than an inch of We didn't get shit. Well, did things change. Things change. I know. Then you have the Weather Channel, oh, who my. doesn't like to talk about the weather. It's, Reality uh, shows. <laughs> no. The best one was this man. It's like, remember when the Weather Channel was just weather? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> It's like it's they might as well change their name to the not the really weather station. I mean, not the really weather station. I mean, from the eighties <laughs> and the nineties and even early two thousands, it was all weather all the time. They had storm it was stories. That, that like music, the the, the, the like on the eighties. Cool, but it was the cool elevator. It was music. the jazz. It yeah. Was jazz. Do, do. And, and then during the Christmas time, they play like uh, the peanuts. Do 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 oh, do, I love do, that. do do. Yeah, but I mean, no, Melendez, I mean, I didn't. Mind, I mean, I. It was okay with all weather and storm stories. I was fine. But yeah. now it's like, you know. Um, the truckers, was it the Ice Road Truckers? Ice Road Truckers is on the History Channel. That's oh, not sorry. it. Sorry, and that's another channel that really isn't about history anymore. Well, it's interesting. I like watching that. But then you have Ice Pilots, which I don't understand ice. that. You have, no, no, this was a good one. Um, it was it's called. It was a bad 80s movie, Ice Pilots. <laughs> No, there was one they were playing on there on the Weather Channel, and I was kind of confused. I think it was like something Naked Bears or something like that. I swear it was something like that. I had to re look Naked at that. Naked bears. bears, Naked Bears hunting or something like that. And of course, Are you I'm talking about hairy men. I first thought they were talking about porn, but no, I think they <laughs> just. Of course, that's where your mind wanders. At they first. were they were talking about something else, but I think it was something like that title. I can't really. Bears naked in the woods, or something like that. I don't know. Woods bear. I don't. It was something like that, but it was on the Weather Channel for a brief moment. I did like when Weather changed history. Now that was pretty interesting because that was a mix of History Channel and weather and how did it affect this stuff. But you know, these other shows like what was that gold mining show they have on there, which is on the History Channel. Um, oh Lord knows. <gasps> Though I do, you know, what? I my guilty pleasure, and you're gonna roll your eyes at me. I already did. Continue. <laughs> It's the one about the Sasquatches. Oh, Christ. I love it. I want a, a, a thing that says gone squatching on my car. Anyways, continuing about the temperatures. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, what is it? You know, right now, like last night it was 17 degrees. and now I know, because I'm outside without gloves on and my hands started to hurt. I know. I, I put my hands between my crotch because, you know, that's the only warm <laughs> oh, spot. Can, wait, can you actually put your hand between a crotch? Touche. <laughs> Well, anyway. Any, well, anyway, I mean, it's going to be like 72, 73, and then I saw thunderstorms. I was like, yes, I love thunderstorms so when it's hot. it's not even supposed to start getting warmer until Monday, correct? Or no, this weekend, kind of gradually a little bit? Uh, well. Because today's cold. Oh, yeah, today is cold. At Sucks. least it's not At least it's not windy, though, because yeah. when it was windy, you know, Ugh. that that wind, I thought it was going to knock down something. What well, did? That building in Wheeling. Oh, yeah. Well, that was an old church. So who gives a they're shit about that? No, they're trying to renovate it. It's kind of sad because they're working. But are they actually Christians? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, <laughs> until my thing... Oh, well, actually showing snow on the map right now. Wow. Um, Does that lake effect? 
Uh, probably like effect. Probably come here and as well. I was, it's still loading, but it said like 72, 73 for uh, next week, which I was just like, oh my god, like really? I was gonna get sick. I know. Like, I was having horrible breathing problems. I have asthma, by the way. I know. Asthma. To- yeah. And um, Asperger's. I, I'm sure I've told everyone. But Monday, it was so nice. And then that night, or was it two? I forget. Sunday, whenever it was nice out. <laughs> Tuesday. That was Sunday. Okay. I, I was exercising. It was beautiful. And then the very next day, it was so cold. I had to use my inhaler mm-hmm. twice in a row, which never happens. Once is good. Maybe a day, but twice in a row. So it's supposed to start snowing at three, according to this, and continue all the way until eight a.m. Friday. So we're gonna get inches or no? It's at about uh, seven tenths of an inch. Oh. But I'm looking up for okay for Thursday. You know, thirty nine, calling for about one inch of snow tonight. I don't know. I'm trying to scroll down. And then Saturday, mix of rain, 46. And then look, Monday, 60. Tuesday, 68. Wednesday, 70 with rain. Thursday, 68 with rain. Friday was 64 with rain. And Saturday, 60 with rain. Oh, good, rain. That's all we need is more rain. Well, no, in spring it's supposed to rain. Cause it, rain um, equals free car wash. April Yay! Show- well, it's not April yet, but April showers bring me flowers. Well, do you know what also is happening in the summer, and I'm not looking forward to it? Oh, God. It is the cicada year. The locusts. Everyone's freaking out about that. The swarm. That. I'll tell you a like story. It. If you didn't know, I like telling stories. Oh, I'm sort shit. of like Sophia Petrillo here. Um, listen, okay. Back in the day in my early 20s, around the time... You were 20. How many times have I tell you my age, dude? The 22-year-old virgin is in the house. Continue. You, yes. Um, Bitch. <laughs> anyway, okay, about your age, um, back in Wellsburg, we used to have, you know, bonfires, nothing to do. You know, you had your first job, so you had some extra cash, but still living with your parents because you're lame. Um, I brought a bonfire. Um, no, this, I wasn't there. This is being told to me by my friends. But the night before, they had another bonfire, and of course, it was a cicada. There were cicadas, and someone told the one person, no names, um, "Hey, I heard that they taste like peanut butter. I dare you to eat one." Oh Christ! So he ate one, and guess what he said? What? It did kind of taste like peanut butter. I'm not eating cicadas because they if taste I, like peanut I, butter. If I bring you one and I cook it, you won't eat it. No. Uh, even if I put some jelly on it. No. <laughs> Because I know what it'll be. I'm going to sneak it. I'm going to bring you like a pot pie. No. Some cicadas in there. <laughs> I swear to God, if you do that, I will unfriend you on Facebook and kill you personally. Now, I don't mind, you know, because I know some people can mask it and hide it. If they can do something like that, I'll be fine. Don't be a pot pie. You won't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because if you say, hi, I baked you pot pie, I'd be like, and you'd be oh. automatically suspicious because I don't do things but, to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, hmm. I'd be like. Here, Patty, why don't you have some pot pie? <laughs> she eat it. I'd be like, Paul, I made you some pot pie. Mm, okay. <laughs> Here's some pot pie. I know, but everybody's going in a fizzy about this. The last time I remember there was a swarm, I was little. And we were still at Lincoln. What year was the last time it was here? Then? Well, it, only, it happens every, what, 15 years or is it 20 years? No, it had to be 15 because... You were little. I'm 21. 21 minus 15 is what? Well, Seriously, I can't remember. Twenty minus fifty. Oh, six. six. Okay, because I was six years old. I remember. Catholic I was, education, everybody. Fuck you. <laughs> I was holding on to my father, and he saw somebody coming outside of Lincoln and started talking to him. It's like there's a fucking swarm. Let's go into the building. We go into the building, and if you look by all the windows, we'll just see all these dead locusts on the floor. They crunch when you walk. Too. Yeah, crunch, so it's like leaves. Crunch, crunch. But I think it's every 15 years, so that's why, you know, 15 years from now, you know, that's 2016, and then the next one, of course, will be 2020-something, or whatever the hell it is, 21. Do the math. 21? No. 31. 31. Okay, we'll all be dead by that time. No, you um, won't. Well, I did see this... Depending on who president is. I did <laughs> see this on the internet, and again, I just looked, it was only two resources. It was this science website that I've never heard of. And the Daily Mail in UK, which Love is it, the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail is kind of like the Onion in mm-hmm. some cases. Well, it said something like uh, asteroid that's going to hit Earth next week could possibly hit Earth. And of course, you know me, I'm like, oh, you know what happened? What? It'll hit, 
and it will have radioactive stuff on it and all the cicadas are going to come up out of the ground radioactive and they're going to be like monsters. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, basically it said it's going to pass within, I think, you know, some 11,000 miles or whatever, which is kind of like close in Earth miles. Space like a, miles. Space <laughs> miles, basically. And uh, when they said that, of course, you know, me, I'm like... Uh, I gotta research it. So of course, you know, I go on NBC News. There's nothing. I look on NASA's website, and there's nothing. So I'm like, really? I, yeah. Huh. So I'm like, it's made up because Daily Mail is kind of like the Onion. You know, it's kind of mm-hmm. made up. And even it said like NASA spokesperson. I'm thinking they just made that up because if that was actually news, you would think NBC, CNN, or somebody would just be broadcasting it, but they aren't. Wouldn't it be crazy though if there were mutant cicadas? Would you shut up? I don't <laughs> want. I don't want to talk about mutant cicadas. They're <laughs> gross. Where, where, where's your hand? I don't know. Touching your leg. You're cold. I know I am cold, but I don't want to talk about bugs. I hate bugs. I've always hated bu- hate the bugs. Even when there's the late necessary. When the fuck them. When there's the ladybug swarm. Oh my god! It's but like, they're cute. No, they're not. Ladybugs the are cute. They eat aphids. They're important for What the for fuck plants. is aphid? Aphids eat plants. Ladybugs eat aphids. If you have ladybugs on your plants, the aphids don't eat your plants. So you get to actually eat, eat the your... damn plants. No, I don't want the ladybugs. You can't because the aphids eat them. You can't eat your fruit or your veggies or whatever because aphids eat the plants. Well, I want to move to a state Athlete where there education. is no... education. You need to learn this stuff. I want to go to a state where there is no bugs, and that state is Alaska, where you go to bed at 10 o'clock and Please. it's still light outside. There are tons of bugs up there. There isn't. Yes, there is. It's snowy up there. Oh, my Lord. It's cold. Anyway. Move to the North Pole or the South Pole. Mm-hmm. That's where you should go. North Pole is really cold. South Pole is just dreary. I want to move to South America. Oh, yeah. That's a great place for no bugs. Well, I just... Look at and more grande. I want to see all the nice Brazilians down there and get a Brazilian job. Brazil! Brazil. Sorry. Or as I call it, Brazil nuts. No, I'm kidding. Brazil nuts. I don't like Brazil nuts. Or some people call it Brazil nuts. I'm like, what? All right. Well, I think it's just time. It's like I gotta yes, go anyway. It is 22 yeah. minutes. How do you want to end it? I don't know. Um. Everybody buy a strap on. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, but I have to tell oh, about Lord. this one story left. Yes, it is sexual. So if you have kids, are you serious? Yeah, but what? if you have kids, I suggest you end it now. But again, if your kids are listening to this anyways, we would be thinking, why the fuck are you doing this? But here's my thing, because I bought. I needed some more lube. Obviously. All right, I'm, no, 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 I'm no. exiting no, now. No, 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 no. This is a helpful consumer advice. I want to tell people. Do not buy the Astroglide gel. It is worthless. And here's why. The Astroglide that's the liquid or whatever is much more handy to clean off and easier. The gel, I was using it last night. I'm not going to tell you what for. I was cleaning my carpet. No. The gel, when you use it, it turns into one of those gel balls. Um, Did you complain to the company? No, I didn't. You Um, should. I should have. But it just... I mean, it, on the back, it's, you know, number one for this, safe for condoms and everything. I'm like, but for me, I had to use so much, and it was just like a mess. And, of course, after I took a shower, I was just like, thank God. The thing you should do if you, this is just for any general product. Mm-hmm. If you buy the, because you spent money on this product. Yeah, it was seven bucks. Exactly. Which was a waste. And it was only like this big. So and it was in you, a, yeah. you need to look on the back yeah. and see if you can call or e- email. I wouldn't call. Email the company. I'd call. Hi. And and just tell them, you know, this it's it's crap. It is. You're an adulterated crap. Because it's, well, I, when I saw gel, I'm thinking, you know, this might be cool. And I just put a little bit on my fingers and just rub them together like, oh, this is really cool. But it was just a dot. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you're not using it correctly then? It said you can use it um, in that area. It's probably hair gel. And you're, and you're, <laughs> Got the wrong thing. It's not hair gel. <laughs> it says you put it on the genital area, and it says safe for condoms. It says it's number one um, recommended. And then, of course, it says if any irritation continues, please contact your doctor. It's like, hi, doctor. Yes, I'm using this lube. It's not really doing what I should be doing. Do you got any suggestions? You actually should be open to your doctor about things because they. Well, my doctor's a female, so. So. Mm-hmm. You know what I want to do? <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Well, it's time. It's time. It's almost 25 minutes we've been doing this too long. And it's almost time for my pot pie that I will be eating. 
with no cicadas in it. Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Well, we (laughs) hope you enjoyed this re-edited version of Mark's Midnight Madness. Madness. Oh, God, I want to make a shirt after that. Um, Our next episode will probably be five years from now because we, we need to do at least once a month. I'd say a couple times a month. Okay. All right. Well, we hope you both enjoy... Or hope both. You both. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Well, we hope you all... All the people listening, which are all the ladybugs and cicadas, we hope that you all enjoy your... Whatever week is left in your weekend and all those other happy days. Goodbye from us. <laughs> <laughs>